morning everybody. First job of the day is to clear all of this away and I need to find homes for it. Some of it can go in my outdoor storage, just like my, you know, random paint things. But there's obviously certain things that can't. Also, with things like this, this blow up ball, I don't want to get rid of it because I'm like, one day I might need that. And then that's the type of thing you go and spend like 15 pounds on. And I'm like, no, 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 I have one. But like, where'd you put it, you know? But good morning, welcome back to the vlogs. I hope you're having a lovely day. If you enjoy these, give this video a massive thumbs up. Of course, of course, it is a wet, rainy, windy, cloudy day here in London. And yeah, today's gonna be a good day. I have to stay home because I'm waiting for the surveyor to come round. And I did want to go home tonight, but I've just found out I'm having something delivered tomorrow. So I can't. So the goal is now to go home tomorrow after I have the thing delivered. Are you bringing the tennis ball to me? Also huge news, my counter stalls came back into stock so I've ordered two others so I don't have to wait until April, they're being delivered so, so soon, so I am so happy. This morning I cleared out my espresso machine and ran one of the tablets through it basically to clear the insides. I don't even know how often you're supposed to, I mean I need to give the outside a proper clean as well, don't I? Like I think the filter in the back is three months you do, but I don't know how often you're supposed to do it internally, but it popped up the other day so I just ordered some tablets on Amazon and did that but I do want to set up a little like festive coffee station I think that would be so cute I mean obviously I've got my little Christmas tree up there and I think I got a snowman mug for iced coffee. I also got this for iced coffee that I thought was so cute. Where it is? I honestly thought I ordered. You know what on Amazon? They had that cup that had like a, a polar bear or something in it. I thought I got that, but I guess not. I think this looks kind of festive because of the ribbing. But yeah, I want to set up like a cute little coffee station. It all just obviously is very random right now just because I have bits and bobs. I really do want to actually style these shelves, but currently it's, uh yeah, randoms are great word. Random's a polite word. Also, I finally opened the card that Craig got me uh, when he left and I had a little emotional moment. I decided that it was too personal to share, but look at this card. It's, um, yeah, he's been saving all of these for years. In some of these, I am a baby, like so young. Look, that's easily, that's in my place in Stratford. So that's like, what, three years ago, minimum? Goodness me. Oh gosh, I look so happy, don't I? Look at that. I had the coolest delivery today. Look what I got through from Zaflora. I have the vanilla and amber disinfectant. I immediately ran a sink of hot water and put a cap in and it smells insane. I also got the Zaflora disinfectant mist in winter, uh, winter spice. Brain's not working. And this is like a, it, yeah, it smells like spice, you know, like a spiced latte or something like that. Oh, amazing. And then also the winter morning, I haven't smelled this. So let me know, is that nice? I feel like this looks like it would smell like, what's that Bath and Body Works candle that's like the wintery one, but it's super fresh. I feel like, is it? No, I was gonna say leaves, but no, that's an autumn one. I can't remember. And also the multi-purpose disinfectant in cranberry and orange. Again, I haven't smelled this. This actually was a little bit leaky when it turned up, but they actually packaged it so well that it was in its own container, so it was fine. But I have just received a package from Amazon. Love an Amazon order. We all call it Amazon and not Amazon. Don't know why. Don't ask me. It's one of those silly things. But I've got some pads to go on the bottom of my counter stools, which just seems to be a real uh, topic of the day. I, you know what, I, I called, I don't know if I told you, I called Soho home to ask when they were going to be back in stock and they told me April. I know I definitely told you that April was when, but I don't know if I told you how I knew that. Just checked the website this morning and two have come in stock. Maybe they had a return or something like that. So I nabbed those, they are on the way. And I just wanted to put some of these on the bottom to prevent any scratching. I don't necessarily think they would scratch the floor, but we're all about preventative measures over here. And you know what it's like, it would be an accident, wouldn't it? It would be someone that came over and maybe they didn't realize or something like that. So yeah, just to prevent any of that, I ordered some pads and I, would, I decided to get quite large ones that I could cut to size because I don't actually know what the best way is going to be to put them on but I might actually wait until I get the new stools in because actually no, I should do it, shouldn't I? Okay, yeah, no, I will do that. Maybe we do that later. I feel like my hair just gets so insanely messy so quickly at the moment. I think it's because I'm trying to put it back without putting any product in it. So really I'm doing it to myself. But today, I feel like I haven't even told you, I have a lot of like admin bits 
to do, which is not very fun. However, what we are gonna do today that I think is fun and hopefully you'll think is fun too, is organizing the fridge. I obviously got all the acrylic holders and now I have a fully functioning, working fridge freezer. I know there's no worry of having to have it switched off, which is why I was kind of holding off doing this because I just had this horrible gut feeling that was obviously wrong, that the engineer was going to come to the house and say, yeah, I have to turn it off for a prolonged period of time or it's going to be off and everything's going to get ruined. So I was like, um, <laughs> but obviously it's now all fixed. So we will definitely do that. I have a countless amount of zoom calls to do today i'm trying to get something to happen that i don't know if is going to happen but in turn means that i'm just spending hours trying to convince people to make it happen i mean honestly we will see but it would be cool if it did i need to hype myself up for this first zoom call thank goodness the like web cameras aren't particularly good because i do not look the greatest today just give me a bit of pixelation you know blur me a little bit <laughs> So I have 20 minutes until my first call and I thought I would go through and try and pick out some makeup pieces that I want to have a go with. I've been having so much fun playing with makeup again, now I can actually access it. And like, look at this. Tell me that's not just beautiful. I also did decide to pass on a couple of my eyeshadow palettes that I'd had for years because I just wasn't loving them. And I feel like I just was never reaching for them. I kept keeping them and I was like, why are you doing this? Because you don't use them. So I'm going to keep this out because I've been wanting to try this for so long it's not even like a new palette anymore it's been out for quite a while yeah i just i need to like you know get going with it it's exciting i just needed to retire my other ones before i started a new one <gasps> are these oh no these aren't i thought these were the samantha lashes who remembers when i used to wear false lashes all the time huda beauty have such great lashes i used to wear the samantha lash and you know why i actually stopped wearing them because at my million subscriber party i remember getting ready and being like oh do i wear lashes or not and my boyfriend and was like yeah wear them like you know you're getting really dressed up and i was like okay yeah i will and then i just hate all of the pictures because i just think my lashes look so unnatural and i don't think i've actually worn them again and that was what 2019 no way it was because I had just gotten back from Australia. Oh my God, that's so wild. Wait, I feel like I went to Australia. No, I didn't go to Australia after that. Time makes me feel a bit sick. Like whenever I think about the reality of time, I'm like, Emily, leave the house. <laughs> go out, go and do things. Go and do the things you want to do, but you keep putting off doing. Oh, this is what I was looking for. Oh, this looks gorgeous from Hourglass. I love Hourglass. Their concealer is one of my absolute favorites. I mean, that will go everywhere if I'm not careful. Okay, my friends, welcome to my refrigerator. It is time. We're going to clear it out. We're going to organize everything. I mean, like, to the best of my abilities, you know. There is, there is a, a limit of what I can and cannot do. This is what it looks like right now. I don't think it's terrible. However, the organization is definitely not right. Like I have cans and drinks in here, but I don't really know why because I have a drinks fridge. But at the same time, I feel like I should definitely keep some in here. Like the things that I reach for often, like these Vita Cocos I love. And I think I would forget about them if I didn't have them like in sight. So I think I'll leave those. And then I, like growing up, we always had eggs and butter on like, no, we didn't have eggs and butter on the same shelf. We had butter on the top shelf along with cheese, which I've kind of got, but then there's cheese here, there's eggs here. They're, like I need to make each shelf make sense. So I think what I should do to start off with is just take everything out, like make sure everything's in date. And then I need to firstly just clean the fridge. I want to disinfect the whole thing. And then we'll kind of figure out what should go into baskets and what shouldn't. Like I have so many like random cheeses that just don't like stand up on their own. So like these can go into a basket. And then I definitely, maybe we do here is like my condiment shelf. But then maybe the condiments should go into a basket as well. So I can just kind of grab the basket out and access them. I actually think that would make a whole lot of sense. I mean, there's a lot of cheese in here. I'm a bit of a, a bit of a cheese person. But if you have any particular fridge storage hacks, organization hacks, please, like genuinely please, because I don't even know <laughs> where to start. I've got these baskets, I'm open to getting other things. The only thing that I don't really want to have in the fridge is one of those Lazy Susans. I think that's just a bit unnecessary. I think it's like a trendy thing. And I, I want it to be practical, but I also want it to be realistic, you know? 
I mean, maybe, maybe I would, maybe I would get a lazy Susan. Who knows? But right now, I think that's just a bit unnecessary. But this is in here because I was going to make cold brew, and I just never got round to it. So really, I should take this out. Uh, yeah, and again, I've got like random condiments on the second shelf. They should be with. But then, do you keep ketchup and jams together? This is this is what goes on in my brain. I need to figure it out. Also, how random is this? I got this free with my HelloFresh box one week. A, a whole thing of commas mustard. I think it was as part of one of my mac and cheese recipes. I guess they like sponsored that box or something. I got the amount I needed for the recipe and this. And then in my fridge, you will find just so many snacky things. Marks and Spencers, cheese and anchovies. These last for so long. So that's why I always have those. I have some hummus, some cottage cheese. Again, more condiments on a different shelf. Milk. Like this, there's like barely anything left. I should just eat it to get rid of it. It's a bit annoying that I have to take them all out, but I want to clean it. I thought we'd use the new Flora, so my fridge is going to smell like a uh, cranberry and orange. How festive. Oh, I don't think there's anything worse than a mucky fridge. It really bothers me. I feel like I go to the fridge for joy, and if it doesn't make me feel joyous, it needs to be fixed. Oh, and by the way, my call went so well. So, so well. Oh my goodness. I, you know when you're sat in something, and you know, don't you, pretty quickly whether someone's like with the vibe or not. It was probably about four minutes in because I feel like we were like chit-chatting for the first couple of minutes, and then we got into things, and I was like, oh my goodness, you're, you're keen. Like, you're really keen. I mean, obviously someone has to be keen to like get on a call with you. You actually never know. So I'm feeling very good. I do think it's really exciting though to, you know, start new projects and it's kind of that perfect time of year. I'm just like sowing the seeds, you know? And then come the new year is when I really want to action things. And we shall see. But I've got really, really, really high hopes. This weather is making me a bit sad, I do have to admit. I think this is the first, like, real day where the grey rain has got to me. I think it's just because it's so dark. It's funny, my fridge really was not organised in the slightest, but my pantry is so ridiculously organised. I don't know why for some reason this isn't. I guess I don't really have any storage solutions in here, but I do in the pantry. Okay, wonderful. So I'm just gonna keep the door shut for a little bit and whilst I do that I'm actually going to go through everything and see what is in day if there's any what everything should be in reality because I'm shopping for one person so there's not actually that much but I definitely want to double check like the condiments and things like that and then I think we'll start grouping them I'm so excited to have my little acrylic drawers well they're not drawers but holders well I feel like I need the biggest size for the condiments so let's use this one. And I'm going, do I put like sweet? No, I don't, I only have one jam. I mean, this is good. I literally bought it last week. Again, this is fine. I never thought I would get through this much cranberry sauce in my life, but apparently I have. We have the Nando's sweet chili jam. This is so good. If you've never tried it, they sell this at, I think Tesco, Asda, I don't know where else, but it's really good. And they also sell the Perronese as well, but I don't really like that. I'm not a mayo fan. And then I've got my tomato ketchup. Do you keep this in the fridge or do you keep this in the cupboard? I grew up as a ketchup in the cupboard kind of family. And then as soon as I discovered ketchup in the fridge, my life was changed and I was like, never again. <laughs> I store ketchup in anywhere but the fridge. And you know what? I'm also going to put my chickpeas and my apple sauce in. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to put apple sauce in there, but not the chickpeas because I actually do use apple sauce in the same capacity as jam. So in my head, that makes the most sense. Is there anything else? No, I don't think so. Okay, well, I guess I guess we just slide this in. If it works, I'm going to put, no, it's too tall, isn't it? Man, okay, I'm going to put it, oh, should it be the other way around? Yes, I'm going to put it here. What do we think? Are we in agreement? I feel like that's fine. Next up, let's do the cheese tray. I have so many random bits of cheese because hello fresh. But then again, as soon as it's open, I'll just put it in like a little glass Tupperware. But whilst it's closed and unopened, I will pop it in here. See, this is exciting to me because I love a snack, as we can probably tell from all the snacks that are in here. And I love cheese. So knowing that I can just grab this tray out and I can like see all my cheeses is it's a little joy, but it brings me, brings me joy for sure. We have my truffle cheese, and then we have this huge block. Parmesan. So it all fits. I mean, I could put my butter in here as well because it's dairy, but I feel like I don't actually need to. I think what I'm going to do is do butter top left and then we'll do cheese next, but I think maybe this way round. And then, 
yeah, I've got like two butters because I like to have a baking butter and a an eating butter. Is that is that normal? I always do that because I like to bake with solid butter, but I don't like to put solid butter on toast and my sandwiches. I like soft butter. Okay, where should we put the chickpeas? I guess we'll just stand them here for now and if I need to move, I will. The real question is, ah, cottage cheese, that can go here. Which shelf do I do as the snack shelf? Because I seem to have things everywhere. I mean, I instinctively want to put eggs here and then snacks here, but maybe I do snacks here, eggs here, meat. But then can I do meat on the same shelf that I have the drinks? And this is the problem. Unless I put the drinks on the shelf where I'm going to put the snacks and then eggs here. Okay, yeah, let's do that. I am not going to take the eggs out of their cartons because I just feel like that's unnecessary. And I like the fact, I mean, the individual eggs should have the date on, shouldn't they? But I like that. Oh, I have more cheese. Uh, this can go here. It won't stay this neat and tidy, by the way. <laughs> if you're thinking nobody's fridge looks like that, yeah, neither does mine. Egg shelf, snack shelf, no. No, eggs should be here, sorry. And then drinks at the bottom, but that's fine for now. Okay, I do think I should put my snacks in one of the acrylic things, just because it's going to be nice to be able to just pull it out. I mean, can I stand them up like that? Yeah, I kind of love that. Okay, yes, that's kind of perfect. And then I can just like pull the snack tray out. Is there anything else? Some hummus, maybe I'll put the hummus in here too. I'm really not going to be this pedantic, but for now they can be the right way around. <laughs> oh no, no, I have to do all of them. Okay, this is going to be a problem. Every time I open the fridge, I'm going to be like rearranging it like I work in a shop. Ah, we have another condiment. Uh, where should I put my tomato puree? I guess that comes under like cooking ingredients, as does the chickpeas. Maybe I have another acrylic tray for kind of ingredients. Well, I'll put this at the back because I'm not gonna access it as often. In fact, I'll put it behind the eggs and then I can do eggs like this. Cool, fine. My oat milk, I will put here. And then my, see, yogurt feels like it should go up here. Maybe I just move the cheese over and we do yogurt here. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to put the cans in the drinks fridge. And then in here, I want my good cocoa. I'm quite happy with it down here, actually. Do I put this in acrylic storage? I feel like I don't need to. I'm never going to reach for more than one at a time. So I don't think, I don't know why I'd need to like lift a tray out. Gosh, this is so satisfying. By the way, we still have all the fruit and veg to do in the lower trays. And then in the space, I'm going to put just the just roll pastry and the cookie dough. Can you believe I bought pre-made cookie dough? I feel like that's a sin for me, but it's for a purpose. It looks so empty. There's more food down here. Have no fear. So this is the veg drawer right now. I have a ton of onions because I'm gonna do a French onion soup. And then to be honest, I think it's at the point with the carrots and the parsnips that I, and the celery probably, that I am going to make a broth. So I'm going to take those out. In fact, I'm gonna take everything out so we can clean it. But I think these will be going into a broth today. And then these are fine, the broccoli's fine. And I should probably just eat a piece of cucumber. Cucumber is actually one of my favorite foods, if you didn't know this about me. I would just like to warn you, if you can hear munching, it's because Cody's munching on a carrot right there. But I just cleared the drawer out and put the onions back in, and I'm going to start popping in my veggies. Now, what I really want to do is get rid of as much plastic as possible. I hate that vegetables come in so much plastic. And yes, I have just left them in the bag in the bottom drawer because I have room. And that's, that's a privilege to be able to walk in from the grocery store and just put it in the drawer. But I knew I wanted to clear the fridge out, so. Um, let's put the peppers here. Can you see? I feel like I can't see well enough. Okay, much better. I, I want you to actually be able to see what we're doing while this whole exercise is pointless. Well, not pointless, I need you to do it anyway, but there's no point in sharing it with you if you can't see what's going on. So I'm gonna do peppers here. I mean, we might move this around a little bit depending on what else we have to put in. Um, I don't actually know if these Brussels sprouts will fit anywhere. I might just have to leave them in the bottom drawer. Yeah. Spring onions can go here. Let's see if we have yeah, the cucumber fits. I'm actually not that f No, I should actually take the plastic off that one. So I feel like one of the most random facts about me is the fact that cucumber is my favorite, one of my favorite foods. And you know what? It has been since I was about 10 years old. And if you've never tried this, this is your sign. Try cucumber dipped in ketchup. When I tell you it is a delicacy, it's so yummy. I mean, I'm probably gonna have these dipped in hummus and that's same difference, you know? And then I have... My baby corn. 
By the way, I'm not washing this before I put it in because I would instinctively want to wash it again anyway. So I just feel like there's no point doing it twice. And every time that I empty these drawers anyway, I do give them a wash. Okay, where are my Brussels going to go? I feel like my Brussels should go in here. Wonderful. And then the broccoli can go in with the spring onion along with the celery. Gosh, this is just my dream. Go there. Ooh, and then we have a bag of carrots. Where should we put these? I feel like maybe the carrots should go where the cabbage is. And the cabbage should go in here. Wonderful. She's beauty, she's grace, she's colorful. You know what? I've definitely not got very lucky with how fresh my baby corn looks. Okay, I think that's good for now. I'm gonna get my head down, get some bits done. I've got a couple more calls and then I think we'll take little man out because I know he'll love it and I also love it. I feel like I need that today. But just before I get back onto my laptop, let me show you how it's looking. So this is how the main fridge is looking. I did decide to put these back in here because I feel like they're things I like and then the things in the drinks fridge are for like posting and entertaining and yeah i think it looks really good and then in the drawer all of the veggies and i think this just looks wonderful well it's officially pitch black and i feel like i finished my work day on an absolute high now it's time are you ready you want to say hello to my vlog it's time for our favorite time of day I'm not gonna say the word because I don't wanna tease him, but I am gonna get changed and I'm gonna go and do what we really enjoy doing, but I'm not saying the word because I don't wanna hunt you up right now. <sighs> That was a good day. You know one of those slams laptop shut days? I feel like I'm ready for some like calm and some, some like silence. What do you think to my potential New Year's skirt? Obviously not with this top, but I thought I'd try it on whilst I have a crop top on so I can kind of see what it looks like. I think it's so cute. I just need to figure out what to wear. On the website, they styled it with a cashmere knit and I'm not gonna wear a cashmere knit on New Year's, but I also feel like it's quite dinky. So I need to wear something that's a little, you know, a little more fabric on top. I mean, maybe I do like a, no, I cannot wear knitwear on New Year's Eve. That is criminal. I, what do I wear with this? What shall I put on my top half? He's just watched me put my top on and clock what's going on. <laughs> so cute. Can confirm. We're doing what you think we're doing. Shall we go? He's here. Sit. Shall we go for a walk? Shall we go for a walk? Yeah. Do you want me to just get downstairs? He really is so very good. I feel so lucky that I have a dog that loves to cuddle, but also loves to walk. If he wouldn't cuddle me, I would feel uh, so unloved by my dog. And if he didn't love to walk as well, I would genuinely still go for long walks on my own without him. But thank goodness. We're home from the loveliest walk. And I would say next we'll do the pantry. But to be honest, I don't actually think I need to do much to it. I mean, I definitely need to clear it out a little bit, but I think pretty much I'm like happy with how it's organized. I don't want like unnecessary, you know, storage in here. I don't feel the need to go and replace everything with like, you know, no acrylic storage or anything like that. But what I think I might do is just make sure that I've got sufficient things in here to make meals if the shops are closed. So say if I, I don't know, go to my mom's over Christmas and New Year and then come back, but all the shops are shut on that day, or maybe I like miss them being open. I would like to make sure that I couldn't, you know, make myself dinner from the cupboard essentially, which really I've got tuna and I've got pasta. So the answer is yes, I can do that. And I've got my HelloFresh vegetable doll here that I never made, which is all cupboard food so that I can make. You know, I just think it's nice to make sure, even if it's just like tomato pasta, like that, you know, there's a meal. That for me feels like home. And now I actually have a freezer. I can put my bread in the freezer as well, which is really good. But let's make a tea. I am going to do peppermint tea. And someone was saying to me that peppermint tea is supposed to help with sleep, but I thought it was chamomile, or are they both? Like, do they both relax you? Because I've got that, like, anxious tummy at the moment. You know when, like, you lay there and you have a moment of silence to yourself and then suddenly you're, like, 20 million times more anxious than you were five seconds ago because you've, like, stopped? That's how I feel. So I need to get over that, but I'm going to have the peppermint tea and then I... I don't know. Yeah, for now, that's good. I mean, I, I definitely will do a bit of a sort of this, but I'm not in any kind of hurry because I feel like it's actually been so easy to keep tidy and everything in order because I've got plenty of room. I think it starts to go wrong when you start to overload cupboards with things that 
maybe don't need. I'm doing the classic Kath Kidston mug today. It's, she's a, she's an old one. Everybody, it is a wonderful day to be alive. Look what I've just had delivered to my house. This is my sourdough starter. Guess he was smart enough to leave, not smart enough, it was an accident, to leave a jar of their sourdough starter in their friend's fridge. Yeah, me. I can't believe it. I was sat at lunch the other day. There's a lot of hooch on this. Moaning about how, not moaning, mentioning that my sourdough was dead. And Em was like, you know there's some in my fridge. I was like, I didn't know it was still there. I assumed they chucked it. Uh, no. So she very kindly brought it away to my house. I bet this smells so strong. That's intense. And, oh, you want to play fetch? Oh, we can play. Uh, but yeah, I am over the moon. I thought it was dead and gone, but we're back. We're back in action. Sourdough is happening. Maybe I make some. Who knows? But if I am, I do need to get some new bread flour. How amazing. So happy. I'm going to do something different tonight. I'm going to do the Elizabeth Arden Retinol HPR. And I... I'm feeling, you know what, I'm feeling very zen, <laughs> actually, right this second. I don't know why, but I just, I feel like I am experiencing some calm amongst the storm. Also just solidified some very exciting plans for in a few days, which is going to be so fun. You know when you try and like confirm plans with your friends, but because it starts getting closer and closer to Christmas, I don't know about you, but I just assume that they're probably going to bail and it's, it's fine because you know, it's that time of year. And I just text one of my best best friends saying, are we still on? And she was like, yeah, of course. And I was like, oh, it's not what I expected you to say. So I need to do a little bit of planning. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I only need one pump of that. But yeah, I need to get planning what we're actually going to do when I see her because I want to have a really lovely day together. And yeah, I'm actually honestly over the moon that neither of us have bailed. Not that I was going to bail, but you know. I also met one of my neighbors from like on my street that I hadn't met yet today. And they were really, really nice. Um, like honestly, everyone that I've met on my street, and I've actually met a lot of people, they're so nice. And not that I didn't expect them to be, but I think I just kind of expected nobody to talk to each other because obviously it's like city versus, like even in like my town where I grew up, people don't really like talk to each other. Do you know what I mean? You don't know everybody in your street or you don't know everybody. So I really didn't expect to get to know many people on my street, but yeah. I mean, it's obviously been much easier to get to know people once I've moved in, but there's talk of like <laughs> Boxing Day street party and all of this jazz. It's like, it's so cold. I don't think that will happen, but you know what? It's actually been way more mild this year than I remember. I don't know. Someone please let me know. Do I just feel like that because I'm like in the city and I'm not used to it being that like few degrees warmer? Or is it actually just not that cold this year? Because I can't work out which one it is. Oh, I need to put my I'm going to do my cordially mask tonight instead of my jet lag mask. I love to have a mask on over my oil. Trust me, this is what keeps your product like on all night. I wake up with juicy skin when I put a mask on over all of my skincare. Generally, I do the jet lag mask. If not, I do this cordially one. I love it. But you guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. I have never been more ready to go to sleep in my whole entire life. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you bright and early in the morning. Good night.